I totally okay. understand, but I have a question. I have a question before you go on. Oh, what? What's the question before I go on? I mean, you've watched my videos many, many times. Oh, okay, I know this one. So I'm wondering if you know what you're supposed to say. By the way, I everybody, this is my sister Greta. I gotta get my coffee. Well, that is very important, but I think something else is important too. Well, like I did. Isn't there a bell? Bell. Ring the bell. What else? Subscribe. Yes. Leave a comment, and if you like it. Yes. You need to keep coming back and share it. Yes. Comment. Yes. Like it. Yes. Follow the YouTube. Yes. Oh, which by the way is a lot different than this. So, or is it? This no, is this is YouTube? this is this is YouTube. She's talking about my Instagram. So if you're on YouTube, go follow my Instagram. But she's talking about my YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. Th thank you, everybody. Thank you. Well, it's a beautiful day today. It's a little on the chilly side, but it's, the sun is shining, so it's just gorgeous. But I have someone visiting me. And, you know, when she's here, you can't stop her. She always got to do something. But, um, you know, Makai and I, I think a week or so, pulled the garden down. And, unfortunately, we left, <laughs> we left these out, and they're blowing all over the yard. So, Glenda and I are going to take it upon ourselves to get it cleaned up. So, let's go say hi to Glenda. Hi, Glenda. Hi, everybody. Thank you for your help. Anytime, you're welcome. So what are we trying to do? This looks like the orange brick road, doesn't it? <laughs> That's the yeah, orange brick road. Roll this up so, so we're straightening nice it. And neat for the winter. So we're straightening it out so that way we can just roll it up. Right? Yeah. Alright, so I suppose I need to help her, so I guess I should get busy. Hold on, guys. So we've just been rolling this up. I wish I could get a video of us doing it. It's kind of funny. But Glenda's down there keeping things straight as I, could, I get this thing rolled up. Good times. One, all done and rolled up. Good job, Glenda. I'm gonna put it away for the winter. Okay, well, you must be wondering why I'm looking at this floor here. I just wanted to show you something super cool, which is this table. And I found this table here in the inn. It's a five leg table. And what's the coolest part about it, it's not so much that it has really awesome carvings all around it yes that's cool and then it has the five leg that's the five legs that's cool for sure and the design and that is just still in pretty good condition that's all really really great and cool but the coolest part is i saw this table in a photo from the early 1900s on the porch it was outside on the porch and people were eating at it right here at the inn at the tavern. I will post, I'll put the picture in over here so you can see. I'll put it right on the side, guys. Take a look. Very, very exciting. So this table is not going anywhere. It's going to find its way back into my kitchen. Someday this will be there. So we're just taking a very, very short trip. There's a friend of ours that lives in the village that's giving me an antique milk churn. It's like a milk jug that back in the day, dairy farmers would fill these jugs with milk and they would bring them to a place, whether it's like one specific designated place where people would come and purchase the milk or they would deliver like the, to the inn. The inn probably got several milk jugs knows how often you know but there was a dairy farm that was right down the road from the the inn this is not one of the milk jugs from locally but uh it is an actual uh, milk jug from a dairy farm of the um, friend who's giving it to me i believe it was her uncle's farm way back in the day i'm guessing probably could be 1800s early 1900s but there's a way that you can um date a milk jug and um let me just show you yeah, while we're in here, I'll show you the barn, but look at this. This is an old milk jug, and it actually has a name on top, so this is probably the name right here. Does it say Bailey? What does it say? Uh, Bailey, B -E -B -E Braley. Braley? I don't know, but that was probably the name of the farm, or the farmer. And there's not a lot of other uh, dating on it. It looks like it's probably from the 1800s, pre-1900 for sure. But anyway, she's given this to me, so I'm gonna, oh wait, here we go, here's a number, here's some numbers, what do we got? It's hard to read them because so, it's dark. Oh, it says Massachusetts 54, yeah, this is pre-1950, at least, because I know they used to put their phone numbers on here, and this doesn't seem to have a phone number, but 
this will be going on the front porch of our inn for decoration because that's probably where they hung them out you know they would be dropped off at the front left out at the front to be refilled but anyway i thought this was a really cool cool thing to have at the inn thank you janice but while we're here i guess i'll just give you a quick look at this barn isn't this Beautiful. gorgeous guys look at this barn you see the repair that was done up here with the big steel bracket that's cool yep All the timber frame. It's gorgeous. Oh yeah. There's, yeah, he's saying there's notches in the joists upstairs, so there probably was a, a place up top where they probably kept the hay in the loft. But yeah, one time this is you know horses were here, cattle were here. There's a huge field out back, so this was a busy barn back in the day. See the pegs sticking through. Oh yeah. Open and I also see a bird nest way up there. Yeah, beautiful old barn, guys. Beautiful.